tutorial comprehensive example topic material okay i read the question first um we focus on the requirement uh, question e1 identify three documents using purchasing procurement process a2 cik muna makes a sales as Emma in her neighborhood provides two examples of direct and indirect material used in the business. Direct and indirect material is based on the traceability. And B, uh, as we can see here, uh, this is the LIFO method. As I explained before, that LIFO method is already abolished. So we change it into Five-fold method, which is first in, first out method. The requirement is to prepare a store ledger card for December 2016, and number two, identify the amount of closing stock in unit NRM for December 2016. Okay, C requirement. As you can see, that the first one is EOQ to calculate based on formula method. And then reorder stock level maximum minimum. So, um, this is actually uh topic stock level. Okay, so uh, we proceed with um answer. The first one a identify three documents used in purchasing procurement process. Basically, there are six doc uh documents in procurement process uh, we have purchase order good receipt note purchase requisition form major requisition form invoice good inspection notes so the answer is any three of this answer because the question require only three documents any three of these next Cik Muna makes and sells nasi lemak in her neighborhood provide two examples of direct and indirect material used in the business Direct material definitely is rice, coconut, and cookies, chili, egg, cucumber. So this is a must in order for you to prepare a nasi lemak. And indirect material such as food coloring, sometimes you can find a nasi lemak that um, pink color, um, green color. So this is a food coloring. Uh, next is pandan leaves. Um, and next is banana leaves. So this is only added value in the making of um, nasi lemak. So this is direct and indirect material example. We just provide any two of these examples since the questions require only two examples. Okay, B. The first one, as we can see that um, the requirement to prepare store ledger card for December 2016 so we prepare the um, store ledger the requirement of store ledger card which is the name of the company G digital calls never hearts uh, which is store ledger card for the month of December 2016 we have four column uh, December, uh, the month of the store ledger uh, receipts which is uh, we record the stock in in quantity cost per unit and total rm and we have a um, column of issues issues which is we record all the stock out from the stock uh, we have also quantity columns uh, cost per unit and also rm and finally balances uh, which is we record um, each of the quantity cost per unit and rm Okay, I read the question first. Digital Cost Never Hard produces a variety of gaming tools. One of the components used is a microchip, which is imported from the United States. The company keeps its inventory based on a FIFO method, which is first in, first out. The record discloses that 3,500 units were in the store at the beginning of the current period in December 2016 which comprises of 1,300 unit price at RM12, which is in November 2016, 700 unit 
price at RM10, which is in October 2016, and the remaining prices a uh, price at RM8, which is in September 2016. Okay, first we identify how much is the remaining balance because the total of the stock is 3500 we minus uh, the stock from November 1300 uh, and stock in October which is 700 then we get 1500 meaning that in September the stock is 1500 at RMA as we can see that this is the information for the beginning which is meaning that this is the opening balance we need to record all the opening balance based on first in based on this the september 2016 stock we have to record first which is 1500 at rm8 next is stock of 700 at RM10 and finally batch of stock in November which is 1300 price at RM12 so this is our first record which is the opening balance so we must record based on first in this one record batch September this one is batch October and this one is batch November. Okay, now the next transaction which is took place in December 2016. On 2nd uh, December, it shoot 2,800 units to the production department. Okay, based on the question, we need to issue 2,800 units. So the first batch of stock we need to issue first uh, based on FIFO method. Therefore, on 2nd December, we issue 1,500 at RMA, which is uh, 1,500 multiplied by 8, then we get 12,000. And based on the uh, requirement, we need to issue 2,800. But the first batch of stock only have 1,500, so we want minus 1,500. Then we require another 1,300. So we need to issue from the, the next oldest batch, which is 700 at RM10. So this is the second batch that we need to issue. But 700 is still not enough because the requirement is 1,300. So how much the balance? So we need another 600 of stock. So we need to find from the last batch of stock, which is 600 at RM12. So the balance is 700. How we get the balance, which is 1,300 minus with 600, then we get 700 at RM12. So this is the balance of our stock as at 2nd December. Next, um, December 5, purchase 1,900 units at RM12 per unit. So we purchase 1,900 at RM12. Okay, first we need to bring forward a previous balance which is 700 at RM12 it's because this is the oldest batch and then we record the new batch uh, we need to record the newest batch at the bottom which is 1900 at RM12 next requirement 8 December issued 1400 units to the production department So we need to issue 1,500, 1, we, uh, then we issued the oldest batch which is 700 at RM12. So this, um, the 
all this bash that we issued and however we need another 700 because we are required to issue 1400 then we issued from the next batch which is 1900 at RM12 but we only need 700 units of the stock at RM12 then the balance is 1200 the balance is from 1900 minus 700 then we get 1200 at RM12 on 13 uh, December Purchase 4,200 units or at RM11 per unit. The price stated was after the 15% trade discount given by the supplier. So since the question state that after trade discount, so we just directly take this figure as a cost per unit. 13 December, so purchase 4,200 at RM11. Uh, total is 46,200 again we bring forward um, the previous balance and then we record the newest stock at the bottom of our record 